<laughs> you will admit he's eager. My next guest. My, <laughs> we don't have to worry about him, do we? I want you to know that my next guest is eager. He's a bright young comedian, and he has. <laughs> He's been out here four times since it. you just started. I know it. Well, listen, it's his national TV talk show debut. Uh, please welcome the veteran, Greg Travis. <laughs> My name is uh, Greg Travis. I guess I should start off by telling you a little bit about myself. I got started in comedy writing. I used to write for Don Rickles. You know where Don Rickles goes, ar, ar, ar. I wrote that. Uh, it was my uh, contribution to Don. Uh, I'm originally from Texas. Anybody from Texas at all? Yeah? That's great. You know, when I first got out to Los Angeles, it was really strange because the difference between the police in Los Angeles is completely different from Texas. I got, I got pulled over by a cop in Venice Beach and they're getting laid back now. He got out of the car like this. I'm sorry I had to pull you over, but like you were really going fast. You know? Okay, would it be like cool if I saw your license or what? <laughs> oh, that's really a good picture. Really? <laughs> Okay, would it be cool, like, if I gave you a ticket or what? <laughs> In Texas, they don't do that. The cops just go, you want me to shoot you or what? It's a little bit different. Those guys are scary. Speaking of scary, how many people have ever seen those Japanese monster movies on The Late Show? Have you ever seen those things? Where the special effects look like they're done in somebody's garage or something, you know? And the lips never match the voice, because there's always... All, it's like... Look, over there, Gumuka, I think I see Godzilla. I don't see anything. You must be crazy, Gumuka. No, I swear, it's Godzilla right there. Wait a minute, I do see something. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you a liar. Will you still be my friend? Yes, of course I'll be your friend, but I think we must go to the city and warn the people before it's too late. I think you must be right, but first let's take some more speed, okay? Okay. How many people have ever seen The Dating Game on television? What a stupid show that is, huh? <laughs> Three guys trying to get one girl, and she always picks the ugly one for some reason. I never can't figure it out. He always comes around the wall like, <laughs> Woman! <laughs> it's time now for The Dating Game. Today's secret girl is Stella. She's a trisexual from Canoga Park, California. Her hobbies are witchcraft, frogs, and small round objects. Let's welcome Stella. Hey! hey. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bachelor number one, what would you do on the first day? Oh, wow. That's such a total question. <laughs> you know, like, I think it would, like, really be, like, far out still, you know, if we, like, got together, you know? I like really grooved. Ah, oh, okay. Bachelor number two. Same question. Shoot, I'll tell you, Stella, baby. By golly, when I take a girl out, I got one thing on my mind. <laughs> yeah, I do. And if you think like I do, we can make beautiful music together. Oh, okay. Bachelor number three. Same question. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I was in a back sweeper. They said, we need somebody. I said, okay. But I gotta be honest with you, Stella, baby. I sense an ugliness in your voice. And I don't have nothing to do with you. And what a lucky guy you are, Bob. I said, I don't want the bra. <laughs> well, that's too bad, Bob, because she wants you. Bob and Stella will be leaving tomorrow for that famous city, San Antonio, Texas. Hey! 
We'll be staying at the world-famous Alamo Hotel. That's right next door to the Alamo. Bob and Stella will be visiting the Alamo every day for three weeks. Hey! What do you think about that, Bob? Yeah. Well, you might as well kill me now, because I ain't going to lie. Thank you.